Guys, good morning, guys. Oh my God, supo at ngayon po is my ano my practical exam and then I woke up late. Supposed to be I'm gonna wake up early para makapractice pa ako magdrive pero unfortunately hindi po ako nagising. Super sa alarm ko kasi ano kahapon nagcall kami ng kaibigan ko. Tas alam mo naman ako lang isa kasi dito. Tas sabi pa naman niya may nakita do siya sa video kaya nasa kasi nabi video call kami may nakita do siya sa video sa likod ko. So super talaga ako nag freak out ang tagal ko talaga nakatulog kasi para ako nag of course, if na, natatakot ka, paano ka makakatulog? Lagi lang akong nag-iisip na baka mayroong taong ibang tao dito na yung mga kaluluwa, ganyan ba? So, ang tagal ko nag natulog, tapos hindi ako nagising sa alarm ko. So, supposed to be, I'm gonna wake up at ano, mga 8 para mag-start na ako mag-drive. Or 7.30 para mag-start na ako mag-drive ng 8 until sa appointment ko, which is supposed to be half past 9, pero dapat 9, nandun na ako. So, I'm so late now, kaya... Binali ko yung mga damit ko. Ito yung damit ko kahapon. Binali ko na lang kasi wala na akong time mag maghanap ng ano. Tingnan niyo naman yung mga gamit ko doon, no. So I'm really late, guys. So kailangan ko talagang ano, pumunta doon. Oh my god. Kinakabahan ako, oy, kasi supposed to be pa practice pa ako. So wala na akong time mag-practice. Sana naman maging okay yung ano ko, driving test ko. So guys, andito na ako sa car. So para malaman niyo lang if ever mag kukuha kayo ng ano, practical driving test, dapat i-check nyo yung warrant of fitness ng car nyo. Tapos after nun, i-check nyo lahat ng, <laughs> kasi yung first na i-ask nila is yung mga ano, like, uh, yung rear side, rear side mirror mo, paano mo i-adjust, mag a na mga ganun, yung mga, yung mga lightings mo. I-ask nila yung lahat. Kaya kailangan alam mo. Oh my God, guys, hindi pa ako nakapractice talaga. Super. Kala ko gagawin ko ngayon, pero hindi na pala kaya. But anyway, I'll be there. I'll go now kasi late na talaga ako. Guys! Nakapasa po ako sa driving, practical driving test. I'm so happy. Yay! Kung kinakabahan talaga ako, alam mo ba yung aircon? Instead of it's super hot, super hot talaga. Kasi ngayon, nakikita mo nyo naman sa reflection. But talagang naka-ano ako, naka-hipaheater ako kasi I'm so cold. Sabi ko sa ano, sa instructor na is it okay if I'll just turn off the I'll turn on the heater kasi ano I'm feeling really cold and nervous so, sabi naman niya no it's so fine I don't really mind it's about you not me so parang ang bait naman niya super parang nag warm up talaga siya ng mga questions like mga questions na naka warm up sa'yo so guys andito na po ako sa bahay and yeah, I'm just gonna show you kung ano Ano yung na-receive ko after? Like, after I passed the um, practical driving test, may binigay sila sa akin. I'll just get it in my bag. So, yung ginagawa nila is they're gonna collect your old, um, they're gonna collect your old ID or your driver's license ID. The restricted one. Like, meron po akong license sa Philippines and then, so hindi po ako dumaan sa um, the long process which, wherein you have to get learners mag wait ka for I think 6 months or 1 year para before ka maka take ng exam for restricted license and after that mag wait ka na naman ng another few months or 6 months I guess to take the practical full license so sa akin since I have a license in the Philippines that's actually valid here for 1 year then after ng 1 year before ma-end yung 1 year dapat i-convert mo na siya so the first thing that you have to do is you, you need to take the test 30 exam na test it's um computer test siya so um you have to pass like allowed ka na mag make ng three mistakes and then yeah pass ka then after that um it's up to you if gusto mo na mag take ng practical driving test ipapa schedule mo siya dapat like either online or dapat you have to call them like they have their numbers and you have to call them for a schedule so yung sa akin it's very hard for me to take the exam kasi nga, I'm a roaming nurse, I'm a travel nurse, so I'll go from one place to another. It's really hard, and especially, usually sa Auckland ako, and Auckland is really a busy place, so para sa akin, ayoko mag-take ng exam doon, because it's just too busy. So, and yeah, I don't have a car in there as well. So, while I'm here in Apier, and they provided me with a the, with the car, so marunong naman ako mag-drive, so I just took the opportunity na mag-take ng exam ngayon, kasi it's my off. So, first thing is, I, I actually go to their website and then I schedule ako today because they don't have any um 
wala silang available na practical driving exams or tests on weekend. So, Monday, today is my off. So, nang ano ako ngayon. So, I just got there. Like, 30 minutes before the, that time, dapat andun ka na. Then, yeah, they just have to get your uh, license details. Then, after that, okay ka na. So, and, afternoon, guys. Um, you will know agad-agad kung ano yung result ng exam because they will tell you if you pass or fail. And they will actually get your uh, email address para isend nila yung official, official result ng test. Pero sasabihin naman nila after if you pass or fail. So after that, they will collect your old uh, license and then they will give you this one. It is valid for 21 days. Ito yung ipapakita mo but you have to make sure na meron kang ID talaga, like a valid ID with you all the time. Kasi ang naka, laka, nakalagay lang kasi dito is your name. And it doesn't have um, your photo ID. So, dapat may, may isushow ka talaga if ever you'll be na makita ka ng police, meron ka nagawa something, and you, you will be pulled out by the police. So, dapat mapakita mo yung may valid ID ka with photo. And then, after that, one week, isasend nila yung, ano, yung full license card mo sa, uh, mailing, sa mailing address na binigay mo sa kanila. So, that's just it. Um, at first, it was 30 minutes yung ride, and it's actually not that hard. I thought it's really hard, but it's not. And they will just ask you what are the hazards na nakita mo, like while you're driving. At first, it was a bit difficult kasi magpo-focus ka sa pagda-drive mo, but parang sabihin mo lang yung anong yung hazard. And it's not really difficult to to ano, to ano assess or magsabi ng ma anong mga hazards kasi makikita mo naman talaga sila. It was just 30 minutes, and then... Yeah, it was all good and I passed and I'm so happy. Just a reminder sa mga nagtitake, like over speeding, wag talaga mag over speed and you really have to look at the mirrors and then you really have to make sure na you know how to like, um, they will do observation man sa car mo. Dapat may warrant of fitness, tas nag work talaga lahat ng lights mo, paano mo i-manipulate i i yung like air conditioning and stuff, marunong ka ba? Paano mo ma-manipulate yung if it's foggy, paano mo i-adjust yung mga ganun, yung mga ganun questions na. Paano mo i-adjust yung cooling system or the heater and stuff. Pag during the observation part, pag hindi nakapasa yung car mo, or like your light is not working, hindi, hindi talaga mapoproceed yung test. So you really have to make sure na it's all working. So at first, um, actually the person asked me like, is your English okay? And I was like, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, of course. <laughs> sabi ko naman, yeah, I think it is okay. And sabi niya, yeah, I noticed that so um, it was easy as long as you make sure na you really follow the rules. And yeah, so I was really happy I passed the test today. That's pretty much it for today, guys. I don't, I don't know. Today is my off and I'm really planning to go somewhere. I'm actually supposed to have consultation for my face kasi nga ang dami na na-acne ko. But then, I don't know, I feel tired kasi nga, oh, I slept late last night. Oh, it's almost 2 o'clock actually guys, so I don't know if I'm gonna sleep or I'm gonna go out. It's really sunny outside and the, yeah, supposed to be I wanna, I wanna go for a drive at this time. Pero ang init, sobrang init lang talaga guys. Like, nag-reflect sa eyeglasses ko yung init sa labas, ganyan po kainit dito. I think I'm just gonna be here on my off and rest and yeah, I think I'm gonna edit a video as well. Like, I wanna upload a video today kasi off ko at least man lang meron ako magawa kasi sometimes my off is not really that productive na parang iniisip ko na oh my god nawala na yung off ko wala man lang ako nagawa kasi I'm very lazy hindi <laughs> ko alam why I'm so lazy so guys I'm back alam nyo ba yung anong ginawa ko after ako mag change ng clothes ay nag internet na naman ako guys for almost 1 hour and 30 minutes so ngayon nagugutom na po ako so um I actually had a search sa Google. Alam nyo ba, ang hirap talaga pag adulting, no? Alam nyo yung sinerch ko sa Google, what to eat for dinner. Kasi hindi ko na po talaga alam. Like, ayoko nang mag-Indian food, ayoko nang mag-Thai food, ayoko nang mag-Chinese food. Kasi, yun na yung kinain ko this past few days. Ayoko na. And nag-KFC ako kahapon. Hindi pa ako nakapagmakas dito. Nag-burger free wall ako like, three days ago, hindi pa ako nakapagmakas dito sa Napier. Kaya magmamakas ako today. Nag-search ako online kung anong kakainin ko. Nagugutom na ako, guys. Ang hirap talaga, no, pag mag-isa ka na lang, ikaw na yung mag-iisip mo, anong kakainin mo. Tapos ayoko talagang, ano, <laughs> ang hirap. <laughs> ang hirap pag-adulting. Pero kailangan talaga, kailangan na talagang mag-adulting natin. Kasi wala kang choice, eh. Otherwise, wala kang kakainin. Nagugutom na ako, so, 
magda-drive through na ako guys. Punta na tayo doon. Kasi dedicated tayo na mag-vlog today. So, halangan. So guys, tayo na at maglakbay. Um, I haven't searched kung ilang kilometers kay uh, KFC, KFC, Makdo, or Maka. So, but I think it's just very near. So, yeah, I'll go now. Guys, andito na po ako guys. And then, tingnan nyo naman. Ang daming naka-ano, naka-line. Tingnan nyo guys, ang daming nakasunod sa akin pa. Tapos, meron pa dito. Andito na po ako sa bahay. So, I just got spicy chicken nugget from... Of course, Maccas, and I got crispy chicken. It's not crispy pala. A uh, Mac chicken uh, grilled na wrap. Then I got some frozen lime. And yung sauce ko is barbecue. So yeah, kain na tayo. So I'm already packing my stuff. So, finold ko lang siya. Tapos nilagay, nilagay ko na dito. Oh my god, nakita yung bra ko eh. Hello ka. So yan. So, I packing. asked the reception guys kung what time ba yung checkout time dito kasi last night ko na nga dito and they told me that it's 10 a.m. But, I'm gonna be working tomorrow morning and I'm um, early out na ako tomorrow. Probably mga 2, 2 p.m. ako matatapos because my flight is half past 4. So, yung gagawin ko is I'm just gonna bring all my stuff with me sa car. Lalagay ko na siya. So, I'm gonna wake up very early tomorrow. Tapos, ilalagay ko na lahat sa car. Then, sa ano na ako, sa facility na ako mag-change ng clothes. Then, larga na ako sa airport. And then, tomorrow kasi magpapagas pa ako kasi dapat kasi naka-full tank yan pag, pag inano, pag um, if you return it, dapat naka-full tank yan. So, magpapaano pa ako tomorrow. Then, after that, yeah, airport na ako. So, I'm just gonna finish packing, guys. I'm already, ano, lahat ng baggage ko andito na, oh. I'll put it in the car na. It's 6.45, my duty is 7, so I need to hurry up na, oh. Guys, andito na ako sa car, guys, so I just need to drop my keys. Pero it's, uh, they're actually gonna open at 7, so I'm not really sure if they're open already, but if they are not open, then maybe I'm gonna come back after my shift. So, yeah. Guys, kaloka. Ngayon lang po ako natapos mag-work. What time na? 3 na po talaga. 3.02. Kasi may nag-fall. Nakalangan ko talaga siya i-assess agad-agad. Kasi ayoko naman mag over ng madaming bagay. So, I was able to finish it. And then, yeah. Super late na ako. I'll be, I'm gonna be in a hurry. Kasi magpapagas pa ba ako ng car. Tapos, isasauli ko pa tong car. So, yeah, guys. See you later. Guys, andito na ako sa airport. So, at least hindi ako late, no? So, I'm just gonna organize all my stuff and I'll return the car as well. I'm gonna miss the car kasi kami lang talaga magkasama dito. First time ko kasi na regular roaming, tas hindi pa ako nakastay sa facility. So, para bang I got um, a bit of freedom kung saan ko gusto pumunta. So, I was actually happy here. I'm not really that happy. <laughs> Pero okay lang siya kasi if gusto mong pumunta or ano gusto mong kainin, pwede lang. Kasi may car kasi. So, pwede ako maka kagala ako naman ng konte so yeah overall okay lang naman siya so i'm gonna be in Auckland for in a while so yeah another facility na naman nga adjust na, na naman ako pero that's okay <laughs> mga gamit ko guys so so lalakbay na naman tayo ayun na <laughs> guys andito na ako sa Auckland guys and i already got my luggage as well so i need to go punta ako sa shuttle 